there, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to learn about a style of finger picking called Travis style, and it's named after uh, an old Kentucky guitarist named Merle Travis, and I'm just gonna break this right, right on down for you. So we need our thumb, our index finger, and our middle. That's pretty much all we need for this. It's a three finger style. And if you don't already know, the thickest string is called an E, followed by A, D, G, B, and another E. And for this lesson, we're just gonna forget about these two strings, okay? Forget about those for now. And we're gonna focus on the middle four. Your thumb is gonna be planted right on that A string. Your index is gonna cover the G. And your middle will cover the B string. And your thumb is actually gonna bounce back and forth between the A and the D string, okay? And here's the pattern. You're gonna pinch the A string and the B string together like this. So if you can, try to keep your thumb pretty straight. You wanna avoid having it bent. That's kind of considered bad form. So if you can, straighten out your thumb. You just work on that for a second. And your other fingers are going to aim for the palm of your hand when they come in and uh, and pick the string. Okay, so it's gonna be a, a motion that's very similar to, to closing your hand rather than doing this sort of claw thing. All right, that would be considered not so great. Okay, so we start off with a pinch on the A string and the B string. Thumb comes over to the D, plucks that, and then your G string. Okay, that's the first half of the pattern we have. Okay, then the second half, you have the A string first, then the B string. Thumb comes over to D, and then index grabs G. Okay, so real slow, you got a pinch, middle two separate, outer two separate, and then the middle two separate. All together. So I think it's worth mentioning that your thumb should be positioned closer to the neck side of the guitar and your fingers will be closer to the bridge side. All right. And actually, if you look, um, if you're positioned right, you get a little triangle in between them. You see that? If my thumb is back too far, triangle goes away. Move it forward. There it is. Triangles are good. Okay, so um, that takes care of your thumb and your fingers. As far as your wrist position, it's really gonna be kind of up to you. A classical style tends to have a, an arch right in here. Um, a lot of more country folk styles uh, will often flatten our hand so we can mute certain strings that we're not playing. So that's gonna be completely up to you. Um, I will say that the most important thing is that your hand is comfortable and there isn't any um, tension anywhere in your hand. It should be pretty relaxed, okay? One of the most important things about learning a new guitar technique, uh, in my opinion, is to find a way to apply that to um, a piece of music that you love and you would really enjoy playing. And for me, um, when I first started learning this Merle Travis style of picking, uh, there was a song called Dust in the Wind by the band Kansas. And um, if you haven't heard of it, it's a really popular song. I encourage you to, to check it out. And the entire song pretty much is this style that we're learning. And uh, so the story goes, Kerry Livgren, the guitar player of Kansas, was teaching himself how to play this, this style just like we're doing today. And he had a, you know, a C chord shape like this. And he, he got the, the right hand thing going. And he found that, you know, as, as he moved his fingers around, he could create a melody that works with this chord and with this finger um, pattern that we're learning. 
and his his wife said, "Boy, that sounds really pretty." And you know, he, he thought, ah, you know, it's just it's just an exercise I'm doing, you know. But but he kept going with it, and uh, you know, before before he knew it, he was writing this iconic song. And uh, I think there's a lot a lot to be taken away from that, you know. Um, you know, for one, listen to your wife. Um, two, encourage your husband. And uh, and three, no matter where you're at in your guitar playing, just enjoy enjoy the process of it and enjoy. Um, you know, creating music, really. So for this uh, for this tune, Dust in the Wind, we're going to go over just the introduction. But I think once you learn the introduction, you'll you'll have a really good handle on the rest of the song. Uh, you need two basic chord shapes. You need a C, like that, and you need an A minor, like that. Okay. And there's a melody that just cycles around and around, and it's this first fret of the B string, which is a, a C note, by the way starts with that, then it drops down to the open B, goes up to the third fret on that same string, which is a D. And that's it, it just goes around and around throughout the introduction. So you have a C chord with that C note up in the melody. Let that go. Pinky down here, third fret, and then drop your first finger back down. Okay, that's the first part. Then we shift to our A minor shape, like this, only we begin with this finger off because the next note is going to be an open B, and we have this. Key comes down. Try to reach for this. This might be tricky. Get as close to that fret as you can. And then that note comes down back to C, regular A minor shape. Okay, so from the very beginning, we have C. I'm just going to call out the, uh, the notes in the melody, okay? And you can see, hopefully you can see, what chord shape I'm playing. Okay, so the first note, C, B, D, C, B, shifting over to here, C, B. Okay, since we ended with B, it's going to go right back up to D again. And then we're going to go to this position, C. C note. shape. B, D, C, and at the very end we break the pattern and we go. I'm going to show you the right hand in a minute, but that's this note right here, first fret B and an open A string, and then second fret of the A string, which is a B, and pinky on your third fret of the B string, which is a D, and pluck those two together. That might feel a little bit awkward to some people um, using those two fingers, but I think it's the most efficient way to let these fingers drop back into your C. Okay, so again, at the, at the end of the introduction, drop down to C. Okay, I'm going to cycle through that whole thing, okay, really slowly.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to practice this finger picking style. Uh, so keep in mind that this is going to take some time, and you know, depending on where you're at with your your level of playing, um, it could be a long time. You know, <laughs> shoot, I think I think I was like a year of working out dust in the wind um, when I first started out. Um, you know, I was doing other things. I, I played flat pick for ten years before I even got into finger picking, but you know, it's a uh, it's a long thing, but, but but the amount of songs that you're going to be able to play when you have this technique down is is really is really rewarding, and they don't all have all have to be as fast as Dust in the Wind. You know, th this moves pretty quick. This, you know, there's plenty of other songs that use the same pattern uh, that are a little more relaxed, and you can you can find some enjoyment out of playing. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that that right hand um, uh, finger pattern uh, is just automatic. Uh, so just to review, it starts off with a thumb and a middle finger, your middle finger, okay, and it's that pinch on the A and the B strings, and then thumb comes over to D, plucks that on its own, and then the G with your index on it on its own, and then thumb back to A, middle on B, thumb on D, index on G. Okay, so you have... And the rhythm of that, for those of you who, who might know a little bit about, um, about reading music, it starts off with a, a quarter note, followed by all eighth notes. And you count it like this. One, two, and three, and four, and... Again, one, two and three and four and so that very first strike is a little bit longer than the rest of them okay really important to get your um, your finger order and your rhythm rock solid because we're just gonna this right hand or if you're lefty your left hand your picking hand is gonna be like on autopilot and we're gonna be focusing on um, playing the melody and the chords with our other hand okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the whole intro uh, at a very slow speed. We're going to do 60. Okay, I'm going to count us in together and um, do your best to stay with me and, and I'll do my best to stay with the metronome at, at this speed, okay? One, two, three, four. you do I, I think I probably rushed almost all of those notes um, but hey you know we're in this together so um, left hand you might notice my style my, my thumb is creeping way over here that's like not good in classical land but hey that's how I do it um, so find what's comfortable for you it, you may find that uh, that the right hands cool but the left hand is you know you're getting a lot of buzzy notes <laughs> Stuff like that is happening, and, and that's completely normal. Um, but you know, stick with it. Uh, if you find that that these stretches, like on the C chord, especially on this A minor chord, when you have to reach up to that third fret, if you're finding that that's like just not happening, uh, feel free to, to grab a capo and and work this out, like you know, fret three or something, where where the frets are a little bit closer together. Um, okay, so that's sixty. Let's uh, let's bump it up. 
again, I realize that this might be a lot to take in, um, but you know, it's on video, so you can stop it and uh, you know, go do something else, and you know, kind of set a set a course for yourself. Maybe you know, maybe you can do 60 by the end of the week, and then uh, I don't know, next week you can try to do 72. Let's do 72 now. One, two, three, four. job um, so uh, I said I was going to talk about that turnaround uh, at the very end of, of the whole cycle um, where we have those two quarter notes at the end that go the picking on that you probably already figured this out but I'll just I'll show you a string and B string you have a pinch while this finger is here okay this is just a little part of an a minor chord by the way we're just doing those two notes next two here that I showed you earlier, you're going to pluck or pinch those same two strings. Okay, you might have to practice that separate from everything else to get that real smooth. Okay, here we go with the metronome at 92. One, two, three, four. Okay, so our goal, by the way, um, if we want to play this along to the recording or if we want to perform this, record this up to the, the proper speed, it's going to be all the way up uh, to 192. Okay, so um, again, you know, know, know your limits, um, be, be good to yourself and, you know, how, how fast you can do this and, you know, take your time as far as uh, um, your, your practice time. Uh, you, you want to... Uh, you want to just make sure you don't get sloppy. You know, that's really, I don't, I don't want you to try to get this up to speed when you're not ready. Um, so it's, it's important to go through this process, and I'm, I'm glad you're doing it. So we just did 92. I'm just going to keep ratcheting this up until we get to 192, okay? The, the rest of the lesson is just going to be that. So um, if you feel like you've hit the wall, you know, shut it down, and you, just, you can just always keep coming back to this and, and working through it, okay? So um, let's go up to 116. Sounds good. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Was 116. 
Um, okay, so a note, a note on playing sloppy, um, <laughs> because I don't want you to feel like just because you know maybe you can't play this quite up to speed um, with this finger style, um, that it doesn't mean that you can't play the song, because the song is really just some some basic chords that that you likely already know, and uh, and this rhythm which is one, two, and three, and four, and you know, so really you can you can play through this this tune like this. If... There's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It, it, sound, it sounds just fine. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, a lot of people can't even tell the difference. Uh, <laughs> you know, but you'll know that you're, you're putting all this hard work into it. And uh, it's, it's hopefully rewarding and, and hopefully enjoyable. Um, you know, it, it's fun for me anyway. So uh, we're going to keep going. That's 116. We'll go up to, uh, here's 138, all right? One, two, three, four. getting there that's 138 how about how about 160 here we go 160 one two three four ah I messed up start again one two three four That's 160. Shoot, we're almost there. Um, tell you what, two more. This is 176. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Last one, 192. So hey, if, if you've if you've been sticking with this and you're with me and it's all sounding good, congratulations. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't congratulate you yet. We're not quite there, but 192. If you can do that, 192, you're you're there. You you know you know this tune. You're ready. Um, and you know way before now, you you can probably even or you could have gone on to the rest of the song. But um, you know maybe this is like three years later in the making who knows <laughs> uh, anyway hopefully it was fun thank you so much for for sticking with it and uh we'll play it out at, at 192 full speed dust in the wind here we go one two three four <laughs> Thank you. Have fun, everybody.